Okay. Okay. So, I want to run through a few things concerning LinkedIn and scheduling posts for LinkedIn. It's important you see how this system works, and uh, of which there are many, and we can certainly uh, come up with another one. Um, even if we kept this one, it would still be tweaked and uh, adapted as we go along. So what we have here is calendar, as you can see, and uh, what I've done is I've put in when the LinkedIn posts need to go out. These are timings that you could schedule, you could write and prepare the, or you should always write the content ahead of time and prepare the pictures, video clips, etc., ahead of time. And you can also schedule them should you want to uh, with various uh, softwares. And uh, what happens is that you um, create a, a calendar entry. You put in your text, as you see here. When you're happy with it, as I said, do it ahead of time. When you're happy with it, you go, go on to the next one. And ideally, before you post, you look at that text again, you do a review. <clears throat> We can create a review cycle to ensure all of that. Now, all of this will also be put in this document here, and this will be, I'll PDF it, and I'll send it on to you. You can see that each of the entries will be itemized and put in here. Um, the advantage being, really, um, not only you've got a, a PDF version of it, and you don't have to go to the, you know, or the Word version as well, and you don't have to go to the calendar every time you want to check something. You must make sure that whatever you change in here is reflected on the calendar. Just copy and paste over. And uh, on top of that, it just means you get to read it properly, and you're not distracted by the, the structure of the calendar itself. Also, in this document, are strategies, um, tactics to get your posts seen and commented on, um, shared and so forth. The, the understanding now with LinkedIn is that its algorithm works pretty well, um, unlike Facebook's for example. So it really apparent, it <clears throat> so it really depends on the first hour after which you post. So within that hour, you really need to get your workmates, your employees to like, comment, and so on. And that will push it further out. LinkedIn will push that further out because it will see the post and say, oh, it's a popular post, and it will push it out. So you must, must, you know, you must do your best to get your colleagues and your employees um, to do that. Now, there are some uh, examples here. Some of the themes here revolve around posting uh, about your... Um, you know, competition, quotation marks. And in such a situation, um, it's typical for people to get a, to get called. So what I would say is if you're going to feature a, um, you know, a, a fellow uh, that you used to work with and now he's, you know, he's work. So what you should do is if you're featuring another company and you know the people there, you should give them a call and you'd say, we're, we're planning to post this about your company. It's very positive. It's, uh, it's complimentary and so on. When you see it, could you look out for it? When you see it, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And you will do that yourselves and that will just give it a wider reach. Just another minute. It is literally just to show you how we go about um, saving things on the drive. Um, from your desktop and then accessing them on the phone. You may already know this. I'll be really brief So you will open up your <clears throat> Your drive window All right, as you can see here, you'll create whatever folders you need and then you will copy and paste or drag and drop Whatever it is you want to have access to when you're on your device now Of course, that's going to mean not only the text for your posts, but also the images the video files already touched up to be honest because doing that on the phone is a bit labor intensive make sure it's ready to go when you're on your device you just want to be able to here i'll show you right here so once you're on your device you want to be able to go straight into the drive go in there and then you'll be able to pull up let's do one let's do one just so we know that it works all right so you're going to drag and drop that onto your desktop 
drive access and you will see it's there now and if we go over to the phone so we should there we go so now I've got that on my device well not literally on my device but accessible from my device so then I will go and access my calendar so if I haven't put the text in which which can happen obviously you go to your calendar <clears throat> and then you'll be able to find the entry in your calendar and then you're going to open up LinkedIn go into LinkedIn now some of these posts you'll be able to read through them because I will send you this document where's it gone there we go so I will send you this as a PDF and it'll have all the different files in uh, listed here um, all the different calendar entries will be listed here with all the text some of them are to be posted on your profile page your personal profile page some are to be posted on your company's page and really when you've got the time you want to add in here half hour touching up my profile you know half hour touching up uh, the company profile it, you know it's a work in progress right and you all well i'm going to stop there now thank you very much i hope it's been helpful and i look forward to hearing all the best bye now